good morning everyone in this quick video we are going to look at how we are going to start using aws uh, amazon bedrock in our visual studio code environment multiple steps are there the first step is you need to get access to the model so for when you are logging into uh, amazon web services you need to go to amazon bedrock the first thing before you use anything here is you need to go to model access. This is the first part. These are various base models. There are around 40 models as of today when I am recording it at 19th October. Uh, you have to uh, get access to the model and it is very uh, what is available to request depending upon your region US East 1. You can uh, see these are available, uh, available to access. So you need to make sure you uh, request it then only you can use it in your visual studio code so we have ai21 amazons anthropic cohere meta mistral and stability so if you need to suppose you need to take access for this available to request request model access uh, just click this go down and next you will get access to this there are basic terms and conditions if you want to read it you can read it and then you submit so this is the first step of getting the access and it will take a couple of minutes to get your access ready the second thing that you need to do to start using this is getting your im setup in your visual studio code so if you know any if you want to use any services of amazon or aws you need to have a setup ready so i have already created a user dds uh, you can create a user very quickly just create a user you can do test next uh, you can uh, attach policies directly administration access is something that you can use uh, depending upon if it's active then you can change it but for this demo you can use this access create user and then this user is created a test then you need to do two things is uh, once this is created uh, you need the access key create access key command line interface because you are going to use aws cli once this is done i understand this key next so you just do test here and uh, create access key so you need to copy this you can download the csv file the csv file will look something like this uh, you will have an access key a secret access key these two things will be there for you to have a uh, look and save it. Then what you do is once you are uh, here, uh, there uh, this is your environment setup in Visual Studio Code. Uh, you can set it up quickly. There is a requirement file. Uh, you need Boto3 uh, and AWS CLI. Uh, you need to install these two files. And uh, the, the only thing that you need to do here is AWS configure. Uh, and access so aws access access key is this one access key that you have got here then we have the the other key uh, this the once you do this put this key here access key then you will be asked your uh, the special key here And you need to save this because you cannot get it another way. Default region, you can just do the same US East 1. And then uh, this is your output format. In generally, in the API world, it is JSON. So these are the, some of the things that we, need, we are doing. So this is the configuration you need to do. Now your VS code is set up to your uh, Amazon bedrock. So the, as easy at is, as it gets. Now content generation with PY, this is a very basic level code that we are uh, writing we are importing the files we are acting as a simple prompt act as a shakespeare and write a poem on generative ai uh, and this is the this uh, code is also you can get it the help if you go back to bedrock uh, you can get all these things as a reference uh, from examples from here so this is all the things that you can all the code time that you can get model id the prompt then everything so i have used a very basic uh, 
content generation here uh, that is for llama 2 i have just changed the model here uh, llama 2. so this is problem solving and there was one content generation content content summarization creative content generation so different different examples are there you can use the code and you can take the reference from here go to visual studio code and uh, you know <coughs> this is the the uh, generative ai configuration we should all know about uh, then we are using json dump we are using this is our model id and these are the uh, response we have four things that are coming out of the response so this is the output of the response of any bedrock model the model id the content type that is the application json I accept and then we have the body that has the actual response that we want to capture so that is the response that we want to capture and that response that we are getting we are uh, from that json file we are taking that uh, the body of this and we are reading it and then we are extracting the text that is there so if we need to now we have run this uh, we have written this code we want to act as a shakespeare and write a poem on generative ai so now this we just save this control s uh, python so python this is for running the code then content underscore generation dot py so this is going to give us the this ai is as smart as a whip so this is giving it up the best thing about bedrock you can easily change the model id we are using ai 21 junior you can keep changing the model id playing around with this and uh, a body model id is being used so this is a quick demo of how to use the application